to my channel. I just filmed this get ready with me and chit chat video. So if you want to see that, go ahead and keep watching. Hello. So I thought um, I would just come on here and get ready with you. Tell you a little bit about myself. Um, it's raining today. I'm not going anywhere, but the kids are asleep. So I figured why not come on here and film a video. So right now I'm in my bathrobe. I just took a shower, so nice and clean and ready to go. Um, so let's get started. So um, if you've seen my other videos, you know that my name is Erica. I recently graduated nursing school. I graduated in January. And then I went ahead and I took my NCLEX in um, the first week of February. And so I passed that on the first try. So that was cool. Um, and so now I'm just waiting for my new grad program to start, uh, for me to start working. And so until then, I'm just a well, not just, but until then, I'm a stay-at-home mom and wife trying to, you know, catch up on housework and basically do everything that I was too busy to do while I was in nursing school and stressing about everything. Um, so a little about me. I have... Um, I have four kids. I have three boys and I just had um, my last child who is a girl. I just had her in December. She's three months old now. So that's been a crazy experience to go from having uh, three boys and now a girl. But it's been nice. We, of course, you know, love having a girl. I never thought that we would have a girl. Thought for sure this baby was going to also be a boy, so it's been a nice surprise. And so far, we absolutely love it. Before nursing school, I was in the military. I did a couple years. Um... We were out in Maryland. We were actually going to buy a house out there and decide to stay out there permanently. But once we started having kids, we kind of realized how much we love having our family around and having them involved in our children's lives. So we decided to move back home to California. And that's where we are now. So I started this channel, I don't know, basically on a whim. I've talked about it with my husband for quite some time now, but I just never, I don't know, never felt ready to do it, never thought I could do it. Um, but now it seems, you know, I have the time. Of course, I could have, you know, made the time before, but I had my, you know, my own doubts and my own... Um, reasons, really excuses as to why, you know, I didn't want to start, I couldn't start, whatever. So now I'm just like, who cares? <laughs> just come on here and, you know, you've wanted to do it, so why not just go ahead and do it? So here I am. Um, I'm not really sure what my channel is going to be. Um, I don't know if I really have a main focus. I'm thinking more, you know, lifestyle type of stuff. Um, I cook. I clean a lot. I do a lot of laundry. Um, I love coffee. I... I enjoy makeup. I don't wear makeup a ton. 
Um, what else? I'm, of course, a new nurse, so I thought that would be fun to do. You know, um, talk about my experience as I um, learn in the NICU. I kind of want to just, I don't know, do a little bit of everything, talk about a little bit of everything, you know, talk about my day, what's going on in our lives, what's going on, I don't know, my life. So my camera died. So here we are, now I'm using my phone. Um, so like I said, I just wanted to, I don't know, make this channel to basically talk about whatever I, you know, want to talk about what I'm interested in. Um, like I said, I'm a mom of four now. Uh, my daughter is three months, so I just started going back to the gym. Um, I'm just kind of trying to figure out life with four kids now. I thought I had, you know, the whole thing down having the three of them. And so now that I have four, you know, it's just kind of trying to figure out again what that looks like for us. Um, I'm currently breastfeeding my daughter. So um, it just kind of limits, not really limits, but it puts you more on a time crunch of, you know, how much time I can take at the gym. So really I have to feed her and then get ready and go. I'm more of a morning person than I am a night person. So depending on what time she wakes up is basically when I'll go to the gym. I don't know if you can tell, but I have my eyebrows microbladed, so I don't do a whole lot to them. But I had this done. Um, let me think. I think I had this done back in 2021 when I had when I had my last son <clears throat> and you're supposed to get them touched up every every year really every year um, you know if they last longer than that then you don't have to go back but I think every year is at least like the minimum amount of time maybe sooner depending on you know, how your skin does with it, how much, I don't know, um, you exfoliate or whatever. Um, so it's been um, about a year and a half now and I haven't gone back. I can't right now because, well, first I was pregnant. So of course you can't do that while you're pregnant because it's basically a tattoo. And then, um, and now I'm breastfeeding. So once again, that's something that you can't do while you're breastfeeding because it's pretty much a tattoo. So, um, whenever I stop, I'll go ahead and get that retouched. But for now, it's fine. Let's do highlighter. Um, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to come on here and talk, introduce myself. So I'm just cutting my eyelashes. As of right now, I have no eyelashes. <laughs> um, I was trying to do one of those, I don't know, kind of like the at-home eyelash extension kits where it lasts for like a couple days or something and I don't know what I did. I mean, I know what I did, but I did it wrong. <laughs> so then I ended up trying to take them off and there was so much lash glue. And basically I pulled out like all of these lashes. So now I'm using, um, what is it? The Grande Lash Serum to hopefully grow them back. But... Ugh, it's so annoying because I had so many lashes and they were finally 
you know, getting long. And then I decided to try that, and now I have none again. So I guess this can be <laughs> documentation of my lash journey. Um, other than that, what do I do? Other than that, I like, I shop on Amazon a ton, especially now that I have four kids. I feel like the only time I leave the house is to do Amazon returns. Other than that, it's just so much easier to shop on Amazon. So I have like tons and tons of things from Amazon. I could definitely do like a favorite video. Because I buy almost everything on Amazon. Dog food, diapers, wipes. I buy makeup on Amazon. What else? Body stuff, shower stuff. I buy stuff for the kids, clothes, you know, workout clothes, sports bras, shoes, seriously everything. Just because it's so easy, um, you know, to return stuff if you need to. So maybe, and of course, like tons of kitchen appliances and kitchen gadgets. I don't know what it is, something about kitchen gadgets, just they're always calling my name. Oh my god, this one's so sad. I don't know, you can kind of see. Ah, <sighs> Look at that. There's like <laughs> no eyelashes there. It's fine, they'll grow back. Which, yeah, it's fine. I like, like I said, I rarely wear makeup. And so I can only tell that I don't have eyelashes, you know, when I decide to put on mascara. But anyways, have you guys seen all of the, I don't know, I feel like at this point, they're pretty much viral. The, um, all of the Abercrombie and Fitch jeans i'm like super interested to try them i know they're like a ton of money though so i haven't bothered this far to like try any just because once again i had my daughter three months ago and so with me working out i don't want to buy a bunch of new jeans that fit me now and then you know, in a couple months or something, they're going to be too big on me or they're just not going to fit right. Um, I know they have a really good return policy, though, when it comes to jeans, but I don't know. If you guys have tried them, um, let me know. I know the popular style right now is what is the 90s straight jeans, which I'm into. I like those. I also I've tried to wear mom jeans. I think the style is super cute. But on me, I don't know if it's because I'm short or I'm not super curvy that they just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying the wrong ones. But to me, they just look, on me, they look frumpy. I mean, I still wear them because they're like comfortable. And sometimes, I don't know, I'm down with that look. But anyways, I'm curious to try them. Um, if they had them on Amazon, I would have definitely tried them by now. But if you've tried them, let me know. Let me know if you like them and if they're really worth the money. <sighs> okay, well, I guess this is it. I curled my hair the other day, so I just have it up in a ponytail right now. Um, Go and get dressed. Okay, so these are the jeans. I mean, I think they're cute. They're high-waisted. I just have a, a crop top right on. In the front, I think they're cute. What do so you think? So that was my get ready with me. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. And I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye. Bye.